On the screen are the results of a composite-based analysis of this model, conducted in this model. So if I go to the uh, View General Results option, I see that this analysis was conducted using PLS regression as the outer model algorithm. And PLS regression is a composite-based algorithm that does not take measurement error into consideration. So it, it approximates each latent variable through uh, composites. Factors are different from composites in that factors incorporate measurement error. And what tends to happen when we use composites instead of factors is that the path coefficients, they tend to be attenuated. This is a well-known phenomenon. It's referred to as correlation attenuation phenomenon. So the attenuation is in correlations and it tends to propagate to the factors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size of this uh, screen here for the analysis. And then I'm going to conduct another analysis, but this time I'm going to change the Alta model analysis algorithm. So I have several below PLS regression here, they are all composite based the algorithms. These three here are factor based algorithms. Uh, they are described in the user manual and uh, the user manual also ha has uh, references to other articles that um, show uh, a more detailed discussion of the mathematics underlying these uh, factor based PLS algorithms as well as uh, the results of some Monte Carlo simulations. I will choose this one, which is the one that uh, imposes most strictly common factor model assumptions. So I'm going to choose this algorithm here. I'm going to save my settings. And now I'm going to redo the analysis. So I have these results here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size of this window so that I can compare these results with the previous results that I had for the composite algorithm. So as you can see, you can see here the results and the attenuation. So here's the composite based analysis. So we have this path coefficient, for example, is 0.35. With factors, it goes up to 0.52. The moderating effect, if I uh, implement it as a product indicator, moderating effect analysis. You see the moderating effect also increases when we use factors. This path also increased, this one increased a little bit. So from the user's perspective, uh, there is an advantage in using factor-based algorithms, which is that the path coefficients, they are not attenuated. Factor-based factor -based structural equation modeling analysis is another name for covariance-based structure equation modeling analysis. So this concludes this demo on how to conduct a factor-based PLS uh, structure equation modeling analysis.